All right, folks, so today we've got another quick update video for the GC Loader, and today we're going to be answering a question which has come up a couple of times, and that is, can you have the original GameCube boot intro animation play before Swiss boots? And with the newest build of Swiss, the answer is actually yes. So let's run through the process real quick. The first thing to do is grab the SD card, which normally lives in your GC Loader, and pop that into your computer. And then we'll head over to the Swiss GitHub page, and today we're going to be downloading version 5, revision 990. So we'll scroll down to the bottom of the page here. And you'll just want to download the zip folder, as you usually would. Then once that's done downloading, head over to wherever your file's downloaded to. So mine's here in my downloads folder. And we're going to open up the zip file there. Okay, so we'll head into the root folder. And then ordinarily, if you're using a GC loader, you would go to the GC loader folder and grab the boot.iso file from there. However, today we're going to go into the ISO folder and we're going to grab the .iso file for the region of your console. So in my case, it's a Japanese console, so we're going to take the NTSCJ version and we're going to extract that to the desktop real quick. Once that's on the desktop, we're just going to rename that boot.iso. And the reason we're taking it from the ISO folder as opposed to the GC loader folder is that the fast boot setting has actually been removed from the build that's in the ISO folder. So that should allow the animation to play before Swiss boot. And then we're just going to take this file and drag it over to the SD card, which normally lives in your GC loader. It'll ask you if you want to replace the files. You can say yes to do that. And then we're all done on the computer. So I'm just going to grab the SD card out of this and pop it back into my GC loader. And uh, we'll head over there, boot it up, and see if the animation runs. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. I've put the SD card back in my GC loader, and I'm going to power the system on, and we'll see if it works. And there it is. Fantastic. And Swiss boots up just the way you'd expect but now the original GameCube boot animation actually plays. So that's how you can restore the original GameCube boot animation using the GC Loader and Swiss. Kudos to the Swiss team who keep adding these little features in, and I know that we've had a few people ask here on the channel whether you could do this, so it is definitely a requested feature, and uh, I look forward to see what they do next. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please drop us a like and also consider subscribing, and also don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching.